Welcome to Claywork Basics. You can find the clay tools you will need for all the projects in our toolkit package. The tools you will need from home are a bowl of water, a wooden work surface, a cutting board works well, a plastic bag, a cookie rack, a whisk and a spoon. Number one, wedging. Wedging is to knead the clay, like what you do with bread, with your hands to create an even consistency and to get rid of air bubbles. Number two, thickness of clay. You cannot fire a solid piece of clay. Big objects need to be hollow, and clay pieces should be a finger width wide. Number three, the stages of clay. There are three stages of clay. The wet stage where the clay is moldable, imprintable, and where you can attach pieces to it. The leather stage where the clay can hold without it denting or changing shape. In this stage, you can carve and smooth out sections. And lastly, the dry stage. In this stage, the clay can be sanded. Be aware that clay dust can be toxic, so this has to be done outside with a mask on. Number four, dry clay beware. Clay can dry out, and if it's too dry, you can't use it. You can stop your project anytime. Just cover your clay with saran wrap. You can even spray it with some water to keep it moist and go back to it whenever you want. Number four, slip and score. If pieces are simply pushed together, they will fall apart when it dries. So we have to slip and score each piece. Slip is included in your kit and is a watery mix of clay and water. Here we score the clay, and then the slip acts like a glue to keep the pieces together. Once your clay has been dry for around three days and looks like this, pack it up gently, clay is most fragile in its dry stage, and bring it into the gallery to be fired in the kiln. After the first firing, this project will be solid and ready to paint with acrylic.